actually uh, uh, today I want to give uh, a few comments uh, about speech of uh, US President uh, Democrat Barack Obama in uh, Las Vegas uh, in that speech Barack Obama actually accentuated that uh, point that there might be hard days ahead and that uh, it actually uh, uh, as a Democrat he uh, uh, he, he he's done quite a lot, you know, to implement uh, the program of clean technologies, uh, you know, to create uh, more jobs. Actually, uh, clean technologies like wind t technology, like uh, windmills, are being built in California on federal money, and also uh, well, batteries, like accentuate the importance of battery industries, electric, electric batteries that might become a um, um, driving economic force of tomorrow. As president, uh, uh, somehow thought that it would uh, go up 40 percent, but he doesn't have any kind of uh, uh, concrete uh, or well-founded references to back up his wild imagination. And I believe that uh, um, if Democrat Barack Obama, the president of the United States, wants to make uh, positive changes to bring down unemployment from its whooping rate of 10% uh, as average nationwide uh, to let's say 5% he should actually uh, contribute more to uh, to raise value in the national economy mm. I actually urge uh, US President to establish living minimum wage of $10 an hour in order to uh, um, you know to uh, actually improve economy so that businesses become more profitable and uh, actually I also urge him to sign amnesty for war illegal aliens for non-criminal illegal alien workers as we become a uh, more um, force of a shadow economy for the United States if uh, 11 million uh, illegal alien workers uh, work without amnesty and without work permits and actually we work illegally uh, so where wages are l below living minimum wage and uh, therefore we actually take uh, lots of jobs and uh, bring down the uh, economic and uh, or, or, or with illegal competition American workers lose their uh, work because illegal aliens were below minimum wages and it brings down a kind of uh, number of jobs available. I also believe that uh, MS is a progressive liberal solution for the problem of illegal uh, el aliens. As President Obama said that he won't deport 11 mi million illegal alien workers, so he seems to so far um, to mull around options uh, or to go behind the lines or something, I don't know. But uh, how he, uh, if, if he's going to sign uh, amnesty bill or not, because uh, I hope that he will, because uh, that way uh, he will to solve the problem of illegal immigration and uphold human rights, because those workers are entitled to work, you know, to maintain their um, lives, you know. It's illegal to, to uh, not to solve their problem, because always the uh, US government must uh, either deport those illegal aliens or give them um, work permits. You know, it can't abandon the situation to such a uh, um, uh, kind of uh, human rights abuses as Arizona uh, um, might be committed under Arizona uh, anti immigrant law with uh, uh, a bill signed by uh, uh, neo fascist Republican Governor Brewer. Um, but uh, once only, uh, you know, to uh, uh, deport illegal aliens, but uh, and do it with the hands of police, which I consider illegal and violation of federal prerogatives of federal legends to enforce immigration policies. Uh, and uh, I also believe that um, since Democrats are more likely to find liberal solutions than Republicans are, uh, well, Democrats actually uh, need to uh, pick up with politics and, uh, of uh, amnesty for illegal aliens. I believe that uh, when Ronald Reagan was declared amnesty, being the president of the United States, in, uh, in the 80s, and, uh, a number of illegal aliens became uh, pardoned by the uh, amnesty for illegal aliens. And nowadays, President Obama, if he doesn't sign amnesty on time, they are likely to lose in November elections. So that I urge him, of course, to uh, make sure that uh, federal relations that uh, actually find all the illegal aliens and uh, make them 
um, apply for legalization of their status. Uh, so that's a progress solution to this problem of legal immigration. Uh, also, I also believe that uh, President Obama actually should uh, sign a law that would enable uh, borrowers to take money directly from small business administration. Because nowadays, most banks won't give small business loans to uh, entrepreneurs and businessmen uh, without any uh, considerable collateral. And uh, so I believe that small business administration uh, is likely to issue loans for to small businessmen kind of, and entrepreneurs. And uh, President Obama should do everything you know, to enable small business administration to issue such loans uh, to businessmen. Uh, well, I, I believe that uh, actually uh, uh, this program should be fed by raising taxes against the wealth corporations such as uh, British Petroleum, the Tosu government, $20 billion fund, you know, you know to, to restitute the victims of uh, Katrina, um, victims of uh, Deep Horizon uh, oil spill and uh, in the Mexican Gulf. Uh, also believe that uh, President Obama should uh, make more concrete steps in order to improve economy, not just uh, predict more hard days ahead, like he did uh, in Las Vegas during his uh, um, speech, uh, uh, recent speech in Las Vegas. Because I believe President Obama is considers himself a Democrat, and he doesn't want to, uh, mm, you know, uh, to become uh, the, the, the full guy for. The, press and mass media uh, over his uh, lack of will to improve uh, economic state of uh, his, his, his competitors. And I believe President Obama, as a Democrat, should actually sign a bill that would uh, enable a uh, small business administration to issue loans uh, directly, directly to applicants, to businessmen and entrepreneurs. And me, myself, I wanted once uh, to um, uh, to realize my project of a super telescope uh, innovation or invention of astronomical uh, proportion uh, you know, to build a video feed uh, te telescope uh, we will be able to see uh, alien uh, planets and stars uh, from uh, extraterrestrial solar systems and uh, but uh, with solar span that I applied once uh, to a uh, foundation like Soros Foundation, they rejected my um, proposal, actually business proposal, um, at, at, as we were never interested in it. So I trying to ask myself, what actually uh, America interested in? Abusing substance or in, uh, building a um, super telescope, a video feed, in you know, order to uh, conquer extraterrestrial. Exeter, 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 uh, Alien intelligence. If we build a uh, super telescope with uh, video feed and less magnification, uh, vector magnification, and you know, the laser telescope with a video feed, uh, we should be able to see uh, alien planets and solar systems, and uh, you know, extraterrestrial uh, solar systems. Uh, uh, in, uh, in alien system, in alien galaxies, uh, which we never did before, and I believe that's very important uh, for, for American public, you know, to have to be on the cutting edge of technologies. If American public loses its cutting edge technologies, we will lose investors, I believe, and uh, hope that uh, President Obama will improve its kind of policy, make it more radical economic policy in order to. Uh, improve economy. Always, uh, unemployment rates remain way too high for his president to feel himself secure.